everyone. Thank you so much for joining the Needy Med special topic webinar, Making Medications Affordable, presented by our partner, Rx Outreach. My name is Carla. I'm the Director of Education Initiatives at Needy Meds. And before we get started with today's presentation, I'm going to offer a few tips or suggestions so you can make the most of it, such as we certainly encourage you to ask questions and you can do so by typing them into the questions or chat section of your GoToWebinar control panel. Just know that we will reserve answering questions until the end. We usually keep the question segment relatively brief, so if you do ask a question we don't get the chance to answer, don't worry, we will follow up with you as soon as we can via email, but of course, we will also provide the contact information for both Needy Meds and Rx Outreach at the end. I'm happy to share that today's webinar is being recorded and will be uploaded onto the Needy Meds YouTube channel, which I suggest you subscribe to. It's a great way to be notified when new webinars, videos, or presentations are uploaded and to ensure that you don't miss any webinars or other presentations you may be interested in. As you saw a couple of slides ago, we did upload some handouts we thought you'd be interested in, also into that handout section of your GoToWebinar control panel. So let's get started with what is Needy Meds. For those of you not yet familiar with us, we are a national nonprofit founded about 25 years ago. And what you're looking at on the screen is the wording for our mission statement. But simply put, Needy Meds connects people to healthcare savings and educational resources. And we do that completely for free and anonymously through our toll free helpline, 1 800 503 6897. Our expert call center counselors are available at that toll free helpline weekdays from 9 a.m to 5 p.m. And that's Eastern time because we are located in Massachusetts. I'm also happy to let you know that we also have Spanish speaking counselors. And in addition to reaching out to us on that helpline, of course, you can visit us online at our website, needymeds.org. So as you saw, and I'm switching right into today's presentation, as you can see, and as you saw, on the mission statement language that was up on the screen a few slides ago, a big part of our mission is education. And we define that, of course, and fulfill that part of our mission by educating people about needy meds and the resources we offer. But we also fulfill that part of our mission by educating our users about other ways to save on their healthcare expenses, which we are so which is why we are so pleased to partner with and have a guest from our partner, Rx Outreach. So before I pass the mic and the screen to our guest, first let me tell you a little bit about Rx Outreach. They are actually the nation's largest nonprofit, fully licensed mail order pharmacy. They offer more than a thousand medication strengths at affordable prices. Mission to provide affordable medication to the underserved, Rx Outreach partners with hundreds of clinics and organizations across our country to provide a crucial health safety net for those who battle both illness and poverty. Since 2010, now listen to this, I, I really touched base with Bill, our presenter, who I'm going to introduce you to shortly, but I touched base with him to make sure I was sharing the most accurate and up-to-date stats about Rx Outreach, and I had to ask him to repeat this because listen to these numbers. Since 2010, which is quite recent, Rx Outreach has served over 500,000 people and helped them save more than $1 billion on their prescription medications compared to retail costs. Those numbers shocked me. So now, let me tell you a little bit about our guest, the Director of Marketing and Programs, at Rx Outreach and my friend Bill Vatterot. So Bill has worked in nonprofit organizations for over 25 years, including the last seven at Rx Outreach. So he is not only a pleasure to work with, but very enthusiastic about what Rx Outreach is mission to do 
and that is true of all the RX outreach family members and team members. So he's going to take his time today to talk about RX outreach, what it is, and most importantly, how it can help you, your family, loved ones, or even your patients and clients make sure you have access to affordable medication. So without further ado, oh, and let me tell you um, one other thing that I, that I hopefully stress, that you could submit questions or comments as Bill is giving his presentation by typing them into the questions or chat section of that GoToWebinar control panel. So now hopefully seamlessly, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the screen to Bill. And he pulled that up very quickly with lightning speed. So Bill, we can see your PowerPoint presentation and screen in, in um, slideshow mode. So you're good to go. And I will now pass the mic to you. Enjoy Bill's presentation, everyone. And thanks so much for being here. Well, hello everybody. Um, to echo Carla's wonderful warm welcome, uh, thank you for being here. Um, if you are a, a caretaker, if you represent a clinic or an advocate, um, or if you're a patient, um, welcome. Um, I imagine that with the um, pandemic era uh, benefits that are ending, I know that 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 millions of people in the United States are losing um, access to benefits, to, to Medicaid. Um, and so if you're one of those people, um, we welcome you particularly because uh, you are the reason that we exist uh, to help people get access to the medications um, that they need. So thank you for being here. Um, I, I wanna start off real quick. Um, Carla, I shared the story with Carla yesterday. I'm St. RX Outreach is based in St. Louis. Um, but I, I'm down here, came down earlier this week with my family to visit relatives in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. And uh, so my two-year-old, we've been talking a lot about the planes, the airport, and um, I, I pointed out a plane in the sky to him. And I said, hey, where do you think that plane is going? Thinking that he was going to say California or Colorado or Arizona. I said, where do you think that plane's going? And he, and he thought about it for a second and said, the airport. He was correct. And I thought to myself, wow, it, it takes a two-year-old to keep it simple. Um, and I think as I was kind of reflecting on what's changed since the, the last time I did this presentation at RX Outreach and in, in our, our world, um, I think RX Outreach likes to keep things simple. So I'm going to try and do that in the, in the presentation today. Um, I wanted to share with you um, uh, a, a note that we received, uh, let me see, Let's, let me get my, okay, here we go. Um, so RX Outreach is, uh, we send out condolence cards, handwritten condolence cards to our patients, uh, families, when one of our patients passes away. When, when they share it with us, we, we pray for them. And we got this letter back from a patient, um, I guess a year and a half ago now, and um, her husband was also a patient. And I just want to direct your attention to the second to last paragraph. I have to tell you, you are directly responsible for a few of the extra years we had together. There was no way we could have afforded full price for his meds. So I want to thank you very much for the affordable Medicaid meds. The words on the top of your prescription bottle pretty much say it all, honoring God by serving others. And I wanted to share this because although we have uh, some, we have corporate efficiency, um, we are a nonprofit and truly have a charitable heart. We, we, everything we try to do is, is patient focused. Um, we try and keep it simple, as I said. So today's presentation, it's going to tell you a little bit about RX Outreach, our mission, which is changed a little bit. Um, and I'm going to share that first here, the how and why, share some special programs and partnerships. Um, and as Carla said, please, please, please um, ask questions because that's how we uh, that's how we learn and it's also how we add medications when people ask do you have this can you add this that's how we do it so um, first of all the point of any nonprofit should be not to exist you should you you were created to solve a problem and and your goal your mission is to solve that problem for us it's really medication non-adherence what does that mean well that means that many 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 people, um, first and foremost, can't afford their medications. They say, according to the CDC, that only 60% of prescriptions that are written by a pharmacy um, are, 
are picked up and less than 25% of those are actually taken as and refilled as prescribed. So there's many reasons for this medication non-adherence. The cost, sometimes it's the patient attitude. Someone may not like the side effects. Um, they may not have be motivated. Maybe they uh, don't trust the doctor or the medication. Uh, maybe it's the complexity of it. Adherence, um, if you have inhalers or injectable, or if I, you're, you have a, sh a lot of medications. Um, I got um, pneumonia in January and went to an urgent care and came home with three medications. Um, and I had one every four hours and one um, 12 hours and one eight hour. I was so confusing and it was only three medications. So for people that have a lot more, it's very challenging. Um, lastly, ad non-adherence is also called, has environmental reasons. So um, there's transportation barriers that people have. I visited one of our patients recently in a small town in southern Missouri, um, and she she asked if I could give her a ride to Walmart um, after our, our meeting, um, and she had to take two buses, and it would be a half an hour for her to get there, and it was only about a mile and a half down the road. Um, and so RX Outreach exists to eliminate as many of these as we can. So our mission, and it's a little bit different from what Carla said, because this is, you're the first ones to hear this. We're, we're kind of announcing this next week. But our, the mission is to create a nation with equitable health outcomes for every person. That's why we exist. And so we're, we're still a pharmacy, but we're also going to be doing, making a few uh, broader changes, helping connect people with um, the other health resources. So RX Outreach, as Carla said, has served over half a, half a million people, saving a billion dollars. Um, it for in savings for them. We have 75 uh, given over 75,000 prescriptions um, through farmer donations at at at, at no cost. Um, and that number is probably over 100 now, actually. Um, and so we deliver to all 50 states. Our facility, 3,100 square feet, is located in St. Louis. Um, and we have kind of the, the, the top uh, technology. So we process things the same day. Um, there are some areas that we're really working on, I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Um, but we try to be patient focused, transparent, convenient, and sustainable. So let's jump right into it. RX Outreach is fully accredited and licensed. And this is important because out of the 35,000 online pharmacies, only about 5% are legitimate. So we are fully accredited in all 50 states, the Puerto Rico and U.S. territories. Um, we have been a part of um, the charitable organizations and um, nonprofit organizations just to make sure that we are fully accredited all our medications are from reliable resources. Um, we, we help protect the, the um, supply chain so that the medications that people get from us um, are good and, and uh, accredited. So we carry about a thousand medications for about 50 um, or 50 or 60 chronic disease states. And we carry primarily um, generics for chronic medications. And that's part of our model. Um, we don't carry things that you for for acute needs. So if you have a, an ear infection, you're not gonna wait uh, three days to get it in the mail. So one of the things about RX Outreach is we're not here to replace local pharmacies. We still need local pharmacies, um, especially for the, the pains, pain management and for some of the other specialized medications that we don't carry. Um, but we are an option for medications where people may be needing to take a, a 30, 60, 90, 180 day um, prescription. So our website at rxoutreach.org has um, a search engine where you can find all the medications that you need. And you can search by the generic name. You can search by the brand name, which is the second column, um, the, the price right there uh, and is includes shipping. So what you see is what you get. There's no other hidden costs. 
Um, there's no membership fees. There's no discount codes. It's very simple. Um, what you see is what you get on our website, and that includes the shipping and all the pricing. So a few things about RX Outreach. We are um, mail order. So not 90% of our um, patients get the medication um, within five days. Um, and I think about 100% is within when six days. Now we do not accept insurance. So it's out of pocket. Um, and what that means is that we can tell you what the price is right off the bat. We can You can see what the price on the website because we do not accept insurance. Now someone can have insurance, um, there's no penalty, but we don't accept it. And you can't claim any of the medication on the insurance. We do send patient focused reminders. So we send text messages um, that say, would you like to refill your prescription? Um, all someone needs to do is reply yes. Um, and that authorizes us to charge your credit card and, and we can request the medication from their doctor for them. Um, we have, as part of our kind of convenience, we keep it simple, um, free pharmacist consultation. And this is important because if you've uh, had to wait in long lines at, at pharmacies nowadays, and it's kind of embarrassing sometimes to talk to patients or talk to the pharmacist about your medications, and you feel kind of rushed because there's a long line, or if you if you if you um, are in the drive-through, you don't want to kind of yell stuff through there if you have questions about your medication. So people really appreciate talking to a pharmacist from the privacy of their home. And again, that's all included. Um, we do have patient-friendly hours. So we're open from 7 a.m. Um, in central time um, until 7.30 uh, central time. And then we are also open on Saturdays from 9 a.m. central to 2 p.m. 70% of our calls are answered within 30 seconds. Now, I'm gonna tell you in the last um, about three or four months, we have had a huge increase in our new patients. Um, it's four times the number of new patients we had in March as we did in November. Um, and that's because the, you know, people have heard about us and we, we have certain medications where there's national shortages. Um, and so our call times have increased. Um, and it also has got us to really push hard on making some more self-service and improvements in our patient portal. But our RX Outreach is also sustainable and safe. As you can see, we we um, don't have too many issues with back orders. There's maybe one or two, I think, that are on back order right now, but not too many. Um, we have a 99% accuracy rate, um, and we do have these wonderful partnerships. RX Outreach is part of America's healthcare safety net. And, and what does that mean? If you're a member of that, if you're in one of the free and charitable clinics, um, or I, I included Unite Us, which is kind of a, a national referral service with 211 or Get Help, similar. Um, and I, I put the Hepatitis B logo on here um, because this is just an example of kind of how things work at RX Outreach and why I'm happy to share it with you and partner with you. Um, we, after a presentation, a, a needy meds presentation like this, maybe four years ago, uh, a few folks from Hepatitis B Foundation were on, on the webinar and they reached out afterwards and, and asked if we could add, I think they asked for five medications and they asked if we could add those to their form, to our formulary, our drug list, because 20% of their calls in the first three months of, the, of that year were all about medication access. People could not find this medication and if they could it was too expensive and so we fortunately through our buying power being an offshoot of uh, express scripts um, and having a national footprint we were able to add this medication to four four i think of the five to our formulary um, and they were thrilled and they were sending people to us then we got some donations and some grant money and we were able to pay for all the hepatitis b um, patients that, that they sent to us, we were able to pay for their medication. And that still continues today after three years. So um, it's wonderful. Those are the type of partnerships that, that we really love. Um, and it's all about being patient focused and helping to solve the issue of medication non-adherence. We're, we all work together on this. So we do have income guidelines and someone must meet these. Um, it is 400% of the federal poverty level, which as you can see um, is 
a little over 58,000 for a single person and 120,000 for a family of four. Now, right now, because of inflation um, and because of lots of issues with people losing Medicaid, we are welcoming everyone into our program. Um, and what we're doing is in, in June, we will do an audit and we will go through our patients um, and we'll take a look at, um, you know, a, a select amount of folks and then we'll reach out to them about it, about it to verify it. And then an even smaller sliver, we will ask for proof of income, but we like to keep it simple. So if someone just says, yes, they, they have a need, um, we will help them. Um, we, we, we broadened this during the pandemic because so many people were out of work um, and it, we did not have big issues with it, people taking advantage of it. So we were happy to continue that. So when to use RX Outreach? So first, if somebody's spending their own money or they've exhausted all their options, okay? And, and that's important because when you take it out of pocket, it, 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 it's very challenging. And so it may, may save just a little bit of money here, a little bit of money there, um, but the reality is, is that you can save money. It's worth shopping around, even if you have insurance. We added um, a medication, the generic for Latuda, um, f a few months ago, which is bipolar schizophrenia. Um, our, our, our price is $65 for 60 days of, of that medication, 60 tablets. Um, the, the nearest place, I think, at one point, it was about 900 at CVS. I think it was 800 at Walgreens and it was 2200 at, at Walmart and it may have even gone up but $60 mailed compared to $2200 it's crazy those hepatitis medications that I spoke about ours are $25 for 30 days and it's 838 if you're getting it from the from the pharmacy from from retail so um Going back, if somebody doesn't qualify for assistance, the patient assistance programs are sometimes very difficult, cumbersome. Um, if they don't qualify, um, if somebody is insured, but the copays are cost prohibitive, um, if somebody's undocumented, we serve people regardless of their immigration status. Multiple medication, they, if somebody faces the transportation barriers, that uh, causes non-adherence. Maybe the local pharmacy doesn't have what they need. We can help. And lastly, the simplicity. No coupons, no discount codes, no hidden fees. What you see on our website, that price is what somebody pays. So to enroll, um, so patients can be enrolled either by a clinic, a caseworker, or an advocate. Um, we do have, if you, if you do send prescriptions, if you are a clinic or, or an advocate, um, I'm, we're going to talk about that in a little bit, how you can enroll in our preferred partner program. But patients can also enroll individually. They can either do that by calling us, they can do it online, um, or they can mail in the application, which Carla is in, included um, in, in the paperwork, in the um, attachments for this that you'll be sent um, after this webinar. But you can also go to our website to, to download that. All we need is a name, address, and income, got household income. Um, and then we receive prescriptions by e-scribing, fax, or mail. Now, most of the, the prescriptions nowadays are by e-scribing. In fact, um, somebody can simply have their prescription sent to us, and that will also initiate the enrollment process. If we get someone's prescription, it includes the name, we'll reach out to that person and enroll them. We also can request a transfers from somebody so they can call and we can request it if they have refills at a local pharmacy, or we can even reach out to their doctor and make the request for the prescription for them. So once payment is received, the shipments, the medications are, are shipped out. And then as I mentioned, we do send the refill reminders with calls, texts, um, emails, um, just so people don't miss taking medication. Um, it drives us crazy when people say, I can't afford this, um, so I was breaking pills. Um, and we, we oftentimes we take care of those folks. We'll say, you know what, we're gonna cover this for you because um, we want you to get your medication. So as I mentioned, we do have some preferred partner programs. Um, these are um, a few different levels, but one is our, our tier one, and that's where a clinic will um, enroll their own patients, they will send the prescription, and then 
we will just invoice them at the end of the month. So any prescription that they send, um, once they're kind of signed up as a preferred partner, any prescription they send, we just fill immediately and send either to them or we can send them to the clinic itself if the clinic wants to um, dispense the medication. Second, some clinics and some advocates, they send the prescription, but then we reach out to the patient to receive payment. Um, and again, there's a there's a portal and the patient can manage it or the clinic can can manage it. And the advantage to these is that, you know, you can kind of see which patients are receiving their medications, um, if people are paying for it themselves. There also is a discount, um, that a 5% discount. That's kind of the only discount that we have in our program for those medications. Um, and there's, we can do reports. So if you're, you know, want to get savings reports for grants and things like that to report to the board of directors, we're happy to help you with, with that. This is a, a, an image of just the old clinic portal that it's been rebuilt now. And so in the next few weeks, we'll, we'll have, um, a, it, it'll look even even more different than this, but it, it'll be very easy to use, manage. You can just order the refills through, through those. So I did wanted to give you a few examples here of our of some recent medications we've added this year. So we have these, you know, eye drops. You can see a twenty dollar, twenty two dollar difference between CVS, um, and you can go on on GoodRx and see these. So if the the ones on the left were from January, that's when I did the pricing. The ones on the right, I, I put in last week. Um, so I mentioned the generic Latuda, um, and you can see um, he's a breast a medication for breast cancer. $40 for up to 90 capsules from us. And again, that's mailed. Um, and and then you can see the prices from all the uh, from all the other stores. So we don't we don't have the best price on every medication, but many of them, many of them we do. Um, and we especially help people when it comes to the 90 and 180 day supply. So if you are um, a case manager and you're um, or a social worker and you're helping people, oftentimes it's five, five dollars can be, if they can afford that extra five dollars, that's the difference between a 30, a one month supply and a 90 day supply. And that's where we really help people. So we do have a, a few specialized programs. One is called Serving Those Who Serve Others, and this is just a pharmacy benefits program for clinics, companies, and nonprofit agencies. Um, and it basically gives those folks access to our program. So regardless of their of their income, because if somebody's working for one of these organizations that we're partnering with, we know they're doing good 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 work, and it really helps the companies. We found, especially the kind of the nonprofits. If they don't offer benefits for their patient for their workers to give them access to this to keep them healthier and it's at no cost to the companies it just lets people know hey here's a place that you can get your medication um, healthier people show up at work they do a better job um, and it's really the right thing to do and not every company can afford to provide full benefits um, to to those that they they employ. So we're happy to help with this. Um, reach out to me if you have any questions about this. We also have a wonderful program called Healthy Reentry, and I'm, I'm very proud of this one. But if this is a bridge medication program for people um, being released from prisons. So we, we did a focus group when I first started at RX Outreach seven years ago. We did focus groups here in St. Louis and we found that people were getting out of prison, which is 30 days of medication. And that wasn't enough for them to get to a doctor, a clinic, and have a continuity of care. Now we know that this is a trillion dollar issue. This is a huge issue in mass incarceration. And so we did these focus groups and we found that by providing an extra 60 days, that would give people time to get, get find a doctor. That would give time people some time when they were getting out of prison to, to find a doctor, to get, a, medication prescription to pay for it and have that kind of that continuity of care so we did this program we see then found some grant money and um, donations and we we tested it kind of in the entire state of Missouri and over 8,000 people received 40,000 prescriptions for free and it was remarkable that the uh, number of people um, that could stay out of prison that could get jobs 
um, because they had the medication they need. Many of these folks, it was the first time they ever had a permanent medical home. Um, I hate to say permanent, but a, a, med a medical home and good medical care when they were incarcerated. So when they got out then, um, it, it, it gave them that time. Um, over half of the participants received mental health meds. So you can imagine if somebody's getting out of prison, there's all these adjustments and they're, they're not getting the mental health meds, that causes lots of issues. No one loved this program more than parole officers with mental health caseload. So this is tremendous. So since then we've expanded to New Mexico, Wyoming, and we're just starting now in Alabama. So everyone getting out of Alabama state prisons um, will receive this extra 60 days, so a full 90 days of medication. So we're very proud of this program. It's been wonderful for helping to reduce um, the recidivism rate. Um, that's the rate of people going back to prison. So I do invite you here to uh, sign up for our monthly newsletter. We generally have about 20 free medications um, each month. It kind of rotates and we send that out only in our newsletters. So you're invited to uh, to receive that or to follow us on, on social media. Um, we do have um, a, a program that's changing a little bit. I, I told Carla a little bit about this yesterday, but we are going to have a new website because our, our website is where you can kind of feel that we're nonprofit. So we're going to have a new website um, that's a new looking website and it's going to be have a lot more self-service um, so you can enroll and you can do a lot better management than we have now. Um, we do receive about eight about eight thousand phone calls a week nowadays, and so it's uh, we we know that people are a lot more tech savvy now, and and uh, so we're making those improvements that should roll out in the next month or so. So I think that is it, um, Carla. Have we received any questions? Thank you so much, Bill, for that thorough and easy to understand explanation of what RX Outreach is all about. I love the updated mission, by the way. And also, as you said in the beginning, you wanted it to be, you know, really simple. <laughs> as your son said, um, where's that plane going? It's going to an airport, Dad. And as you said, it's a, it's a lesson in how we can all keep things simple. And I really think, and, and the audience, um, clearly agrees with me um, that you did keep it simple so everybody now has an understanding of not only what RX Outreach's mission to do but how they can help people get access to affordable medications and yes we do have a bunch of questions that came in um, and for those of you that forgot you and if you do have a question you can type them into either the questions or the chat section of that go-to webinar control panel. And before we get to those, I want to remind everybody that NeedyMed is also here to help. If you are having difficulty affording your medications or other healthcare costs, all of these bullet points popping up on the screen are all the different categories that you can find on NeedyMed.org and ways that will help you save on medications and other healthcare costs. If you'd like to learn more about those healthcare savings resources on your screen, there's a number of ways you can do that. You can visit NeedyMeds.org. You can join us for our monthly overview webinars. We also populate our calendar with brief webinars anywhere from as ten, up to between 10 minutes and 20 minutes that do quick deep dives into those different healthcare savings resources you're looking at on your screen. And of course, you can always reach out to one of our expert call center counselors because sometimes it's just easier to speak with an actual person. So there's a reminder how to submit questions or comments. And I wanted to leave up the RX Outreach contact information. Um, the phone number 314-222-0472. The toll-free number 888-796. One two three four. You can visit them at RX Outreach, which I encourage you to do. It's a great way to um, stay up to date with what they're doing. Um, we've been partnering with RX Outreach for years now, and I can say that Bill touched upon this, but they are endlessly updating, creating new resources, and going out of their way to make sure the breadth and scope of support they offer for those that turn to them 
grows, but also they go above and beyond to make sure that the process is as simple as possible. And that's reflected in the website. It's a really easy to navigate site. And of course, you can reach out to them at questions at rxoutreach.org. And at the bottom of the screen, you will find email address as well as the contact information for NeedyMed. So Bill, um, one question, you did address this. This came in earlier. So, um, but I'm going to ask you anyway, because I think that this is a, an important point to drive home and probably something people ask you often right out of the gate, which is, can I use RX Outreach if I already have insurance? Sure. We, we get that question a lot. Um, absolutely. We, we welcome anyone um, to use it. it um, I know my own mom was nervous because she had insurance. She's retired, fixed income. Um, and she said, I didn't want to get in trouble um, by using RX Outreach instead of the insurance. I said, mom, they don't, they don't mind if you don't utilize the insurance. Um, and so absolutely, we don't accept the insurance, um, but you can absolutely use it, especially because nowadays a lot more people are underinsured. So they, they have some access you know, through their insurance and benefits, um, but it still is out of reach or it just is too, too cost prohibitive. So if you can get the exact same medication at a cheaper price and delivered, you're doing great. We'd love to have you. Great. Thank you for that question and that response. And I will mirror your mom's sentiment is, am I going to get in trouble? Am I allowed to do this? Bill, I actually didn't know until I started working at Needy Meds that you you are not obligated to use insurance if you have it because sometimes there are other there are other programs available that will help people meet that medication cost a lot more a lot easier than what their insurance covers so that's Absolutely. an important that's really important sure and carla i and i do know too yeah. that i i i have shared this story before i think but you know even if you have insurance, you absolutely should still shop around. Um, I know that I was at um, a Walgreens and I, I have insurance and they said, you know, this isn't going to be on your insurance. It'll be $70. And I said, um, okay, hold on. Let me think about it a second. And I just took a step over. Um, I pulled up good RX, um, which we'd love to be on, but we can't afford it. Um, but I still use it. And uh, so I looked it up and that the same medication that I just got quoted for $70 was, was $7 at a supermarket pharmacy one stoplight away. $63 difference, and it, it's only because I knew to look. So I always encourage people to shop around. You could be, I mean, many of our prices are less than the co-pays. Unbel less than the copays, unbelievable. And I do, I think that's a really important point to convey to RX outreach users, needy meds users, and anybody we're really in touch with is that exactly what you said, nothing is preventing you from shopping around. And one of the things that I really, the terminology you used that I really like, Bill, and I would like to put needy meds in this category as well. I think you said that you're part of the um, national healthcare safety net network. And that's true because there are more and more people, as you aptly stated, that fall in the category of underinsured. And one of the great things about organizations such as Needy Meds and RX Outreach is our missions are aligned. We simply want to help people afford their healthcare costs. And we recognize that unfortunately, Needy meds, just like RX Outreach, cannot always be the solution, although we do our best. So it's really important that organizations such as Needy Meds and RX Outreach and our other nonprofit partners continue to work together. And the reason I'm taking the time to say that during this webinar is that's another good tip. In addition to shopping around, don't hesitate to reach out to RX Outreach or Needy Meds. See if that we're able to help you. If we're not, if we're not, we might have be able to point you in the direction of other resources or other nonprofits you didn't even know existed. So thank you so much for that, Bill. Another question that came in again. This came in earlier in your presentation, and you did address it. But another great opportunity to drive this really important point home because I think a lot of people think 
that Rx outreach is kind of too good to be true. So the question, actually more than one person asked it early on, which is how much does Rx outreach actually cost? Sure, well we, so it, it, it does not cost anything to the patients or actually providers. So the price of the medication is all you see, there's no hidden fees, no membership fees, anything like that. Um, but it does cost us more. We actually do fundraising um, to underwrite all our medications. Um, we buy about 85% of our medications. We get 15% or so uh, donated by um, some of our pharma partners. And so, so we do fundraising. We're having a fundraiser in a couple weeks at a, at a Top Golf. Um, we get donations, um, and all that is just to underwrite it so that we can keep it affordable. We work really hard to keep our our prices as low as possible. So, see if you if you notice, we have a, a local a three one four number. Our, that's the area code in in St. Louis um, as our first phone number, and it's because we have to pay. Um, per every minute that we use our 1-800 number. So what does that mean? It means that if we could get, now that people have cell phones, um, they don't have to wait till 9 p.m. to get a discounted rate, et cetera. So we could, we're saving thousands of dollars each month by having people with cell phones call our, our, our local number. Um, and and that, what does that do? It helps us to keep our prices low. We're really proud that as everything else has kind of gone up, Price, you know, shipping and and um, acquisition costs, everything has gone up. That we're able to keep the same prices, which is absolutely incredible considering um, what our economy is facing these days. And I love how you said that people don't have to wait until after nine to um, to get free <laughs> calling. I, maybe we're dating ourselves here, but I absolutely remember that. So, but I'm glad you shared that point about the 314 local area code because it really shows how that RX outreach is really a, the gold star for fiscal responsibility, doing everything they can to cut the operating costs so they can pass the most savings on to their users. And actually, Bill, if you wouldn't mind sharing that you've been at RX Outreach now for seven years, but when you first came on board and was trying to figure out um, maybe getting some sort of budget for marketing, that you, your idea was, why don't we just add $1? Why don't we just add $1 to our users? And then there you go. We'd have a marketing budget. And please share Please share what the leadership at RX Outreach oh. said to that one dollar increase. Sure. So I so I, I started in the development or fundraising department, and and um, which is kind of with was with, with marketing. And I said, you know, we you know, and if you work in nonprofits, your fundraising goal is generally what the gap is, right? That's the hole you have to fill. And I said, well, why don't we just add one dollar to each one, and we won't have to raise money? And you know, we do hundreds of thousands of prescriptions a year. And boy, they said, you need to start listening on the phone calls and start hearing the stories of people. And Carla's heard some of these stories, but people that were, you know, one one lady I remember had had a, a, a her, couldn't afford her medication um, because she had her seeing eye dog named Woof Woofro Wilson. And she said, well, if, if I I can't afford that because I have to feed Woofro because that's how I get around, et cetera. Um, and, you know, we hear stories like that all the time. So I was kind of put in my place um, it, it, because that, that, that we don't want people to have to choose between food and medication or between feeding their dog and medication or what have you. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it is, I, I was definitely put in my place and, you know, it's, it's <laughs> part of being truly putting people over profits. That that's what it's all about. It really is. It really is. Um, thank you so much to our audience for taking time out of their busy schedules to join us to learn a little bit about RX outreach. I absolutely encourage you to stay in touch with them. And thank you for submitting the questions. Um, also, a big thank you to my friend Bill for um, keeping us updated. 
with an, with a new presentation about um, what's going on at RX Outreach and how you're helping so many people and how MediMed users can really take advantage of all you have to offer. Um, as we said earlier in the presentation, we uploaded some handouts we thought you'd be interested in in that handout section of your GoToWebinar control panel. And this webinar will be converted to a video to put on our YouTube channel. We do that so that you can rewatch it because I know that we cover a lot of information during these webinars, certainly build it, and that way you can also share it with others that may be interested as well. With that, I want to thank everybody again, and we hope to see your names in future webinars. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Bill, and have a great rest of the day. Take good care.